In this video, I will describe how to reconstitute a lyophilized vaccine. Some vaccines come lyophilized or freeze-dried as a powder or pellet that must be mixed with a diluent before the vaccine can be administered. This process is called reconstitution. A diluent is liquid that is mixed with a lyophilized powder or pellet to reconstitute vaccine into liquid form. Diluents vary in volume and ingredients. They are specifically designed to mix with their corresponding vaccine. Diluents are not interchangeable unless specified by the manufacturer. To ensure adequate potency and safety, it is important to use only the diluent provided by the manufacturer. Never administer vaccine reconstituted with the wrong diluent. Even if the specified diluent is sterile water or saline, use only the diluent supplied by the manufacturer. Never use a stock vial of sterile water or saline to reconstitute vaccine. The Immunization Action Coalition, or IAC, has a table summarizing lyophilized vaccines and their diluents. CDC recommends that providers prepare and draw up vaccines just prior to administration. Vaccines should be prepared in a designated area that is not adjacent to any area where potentially contaminated items are placed. Before preparing or administering any vaccine, always start with proper hand hygiene. CDC has hand hygiene guidelines and resources for healthcare personnel available online. Begin by removing the vaccine and diluent from the storage unit. Next, gather the appropriate supplies, including syringe with needle, prepackaged sterile alcohol wipes, and bandages. Needles and syringes may be packaged together or separately. A marker or label will be needed to identify the reconstituted vaccine once it is in the syringe. Verify the vaccine you are preparing matches the standing order or provider's order. Check the vaccine and diluent to be sure you are using the correct ones. Check the expiration date on both the vaccine and diluent vials. Never use expired vaccine or diluent. Remove the protective cap from each vial. Use a new sterile alcohol wipe to clean the stopper on top of the vial. Do not rub the stopper vigorously, as this can move bacteria from the uncovered rim of the vial to the stopper. While the alcohol is drying, check the expiration date on the needle and syringe if present. Never use expired equipment. Next, carefully open the needle and syringe. Be careful not to touch the inside of the packaging or where the needle attaches to the syringe. Place the packaging inside up on the counter with the needle and syringe resting on the inside of the packaging. Remove the protective cover from the needle. Being careful not to touch the open end, place the needle cover back on the packaging. Hold the diluent vial on the counter with your non-dominant hand. Holding the syringe with your dominant hand, insert the needle straight into the center of the diluent vial stopper. Pick up the vial and syringe together, then invert them. Hold the vial and the syringe at eye level and carefully pull the needle back until the tip is in the liquid. Then pull back on the plunger of the syringe. Make sure to withdraw the entire contents of the diluent vial. Remove the needle from the diluent vial. Now hold the vaccine vial on the counter using your non-dominant hand. Then insert the needle of the syringe containing the diluent straight into the center of the vaccine vial stopper. 
inject all the diluent into the vaccine vial. Holding the vial and the syringe together in your dominant hand, carefully agitate or shake to mix the lyophilized vaccine and diluent. Do not remove the needle from the vial. Inspect the vaccine to make sure that all the lyophilized vaccine has dissolved and is mixed thoroughly with the diluent. Make sure there is no discoloration or precipitate. The vaccine should not be administered if it is not thoroughly mixed, discolored, or contains particulate matter. With the vial and syringe at eye level, ensure the tip of the needle is in the vaccine liquid. Pull back on the plunger to withdraw all of the vaccine. Next, remove the needle from the vial. To release any air bubbles, tap gently on the barrel of the syringe and then push up on the plunger, being careful not to expel the vaccine. Now carefully recap the needle by replacing the protective cover on the needle. Recheck what you have drawn up against the standing order or provider's order. Recheck the expiration date of the vaccine and diluent. Once in the syringe, many vaccines look alike. Label the syringe with the vaccine name or abbreviation. Appropriately dispose of the diluent vial. Retain the vaccine vial if necessary for documentation. The vaccine is now ready to be administered. To follow medication administration best practice, healthcare personnel should only administer vaccines they have prepared themselves. There is no need to change the needle between preparing and administering the vaccine as long as the needle has not been damaged or contaminated. A syringe and or needle should always be discarded whenever sterility is compromised or questionable. If a vial, needle, or syringe is contaminated during the preparation process, appropriately discard the contaminated equipment. CDC has injection safety resources for healthcare personnel available online at www.cdc.gov slash injection safety. This video is part of a series designed to demonstrate vaccine administration skills and best practices. This video series is available on the Vaccine Administration webpage on the CDC Vaccines and Immunizations website at www.cdc.gov slash vaccines.